Hey, my name's Tom, aka Elephant. I'm here today at DBS, and we're going to be looking at some of the new features in Ableton Live 12. So there's actually been a, a couple updates. I don't know, is anyone here building Max devices? Nice. So there's been a couple improvements to, uh, to Max as well. So just on the sort of front end side of things, if, uh, what's going to be a good thing to showcase this on? Let's do it. So you might have been aware of the LFO before. Um, so the way this used to work is you would map it to, let's say I map it to the filter, and I can no longer access that control. It's completely taken over by this LFO. There's a new way that these modulators can work, which is called mod, where instead of taking over that control, they just apply modulation around that control point. So you still have, so this is much more like how an actual modular synth works, where you still have control over that, you can just dial in a range around that. I kind of, I'm not totally in love with how they've done it. It would make more sense if the actual, the blue was just in the range it was going, not from the, I kind of, I get why they've done it that way. But it has but, a bipolar setting as well. Okay. Yeah. Scared, it was only, only, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, it's it sort of, it, it is working in, bipolar, in a bipolar way, but the way that the control is yeah, displayed is, is a bit confusing. But you can set it to be like unipolar. Um, so that's pretty handy. There's a, the, a couple updates to the LFO as well. So like you've got this, these extra wave shapes like stray, um, which is pretty handy. But internally in Max for Live, anyone who's building Max devices, they've really simplified the process the way that this kind of mapping works in Max. Before, in order to build a device, if you wanted to build a device like this LFO that had a map button that you could click on, there was all kinds of steps that you had to do. You got to query the live API and then tell it the ID of the device and then et cetera. They've made a new max object, which is just called like live.map, which you just load that up, connect the control that you want to be able to map, and, and there you go, like super easy. Um, so there's been a number of improvements in like building max devices that just makes life a lot easier for anyone who's building max devices, which is pretty cool. There is also actually a new MIDI device called CC Control. Uh, before you had to use Max for Live to do this, but if you are working with any sort of external hardware and you wanted to like record automation that you sent out as CC messages, um, before you had to use Max for Live devices to do that, now there's just a native device that lets you do that um, and you can set up what sort of MIDI message you want to send and then you've just got this control that lets you control external hardware, which is pretty, pretty cool, pretty handy.